What are seven things I would say to my seventh grade self if I could? So number one, I would say, would be to do everything with excellence and be disciplined. In particular school, um, and just to pursue that and do, do it the best of your ability. When we were little, my dad would take us early in the morning. Um, we'd get up at like six, I think it was like six to run um, for 30 minutes. So. Um, I grew up running and I wish I had recognized the value of it and really pushed myself more and um, pushed past the pain more and seen um, how good it was for me. Number two is everything that, per that you pursue um, at the beginning of your life sets the foundation for how um, you live your life later. So I would have told myself to just be more mindful about um, that every single day counts and it adds up. And um, what are you doing today that will bear fruit tomorrow? Number three that I would tell myself would be to be faithful where you're planted. Um, so as a sister, as a daughter, and as a friend, um, to just embrace each role and um, do the best you can at it. So that goes back to doing everything with excellence. Each season comes with different roles and different things you're supposed to work on. Especially in seventh grade, I struggled a lot with um, wishing I was somewhere else or just wishing things would happen and like um, kind of waiting for my life to begin where um, like it was right in front of me um, and there were so many different things to be better at and to really um, just dive deep into. So that would be the third thing I would for sure say, just to accept um, each role with joy and embrace it. Number four is give yourself permission to dream. There was all this buildup where eventually it just kind of burst and I was, I found I was really unhappy with my life because um, I just wasn't allowing myself to be honest, to just be honest with myself. And um, so I would just tell myself then like start learning to dream and, and um, imagine and um, yeah, just think about different things and how you would see them and what are you feeling and be honest with yourself and how would you change things. So dream, people. <laughs> Number five, what I would tell myself is to seek out silence and become friends with it. Um, there was a big question in my mind, especially when I was in seventh grade of who am I? And I just wanted this confidence because um, I didn't really know who I was and I was just um, very mindful of trying to figure that out um, and to be comfortable in my own skin. You truly find who you are when you know who God is and it just sets everything where it's supposed to be. Um, so yeah, just seek out that silence with God and um, learn to be comfortable in the silence and in prayer and um, just being in His presence. And it doesn't always have to be talking. Sometimes it's just being and um, being a part of the silence and embracing that. So along with that, you don't need to be so focused on um, finding out who you are because it's a process and a journey and it takes time, a lifetime actually. I mean, I'm still learning about who I am and discovering that. Trust that you're growing because you are. It really is just growing your whole life to figure that out. Number six, I would tell my seventh grade self, um, life-giving words. So first of all to yourself and second of all to others. I did struggle with negativity a lot, especially in seventh grade. And I found it hard to just, um, just say, I'd not say things that were on my mind. Um, my older sister actually helped me a lot with this, but she would call me out like, that's not nice. Like you shouldn't say that, or that's not life-giving. Um, and it was really hard and it took a lot of um, just practice and mindfulness to um, be aware of my words and how they impact other people. Um, and then second of all to myself, um, always speak life over yourself, um, especially when you don't feel good about yourself um, and you're really struggling with doubt and discouragement. Um, just speaking, just speaking goodness sets you into freedom, even if you don't feel it yet, but just saying it over and over again, no matter how many times, um, it just really increases uh, that truth inside of you and that freedom. And that truly builds up self-confidence and love um, and 
really speaks of who you truly are. Um, so yeah, always, always make sure your words are life-giving, um, most importantly to yourself, and then um, it will flow into other people. The last and final point, you are seen, you are heard, and heaven is present. So a little bit of background. Um, my siblings weren't always, I'm gonna throw them under the bus just a little, they weren't um, the best at fulfilling their chores and duties and obligations. And my mom, rightfully so, would get frustrated and be like, guys, like this is all falling on me. Um, like that's not cool. And so I had a heart for my mom, especially cause she would get sad sometimes. And I just had a heart for that. I mean, it wasn't cool and I did what I could, but um, I started doing more than I, more, I started going past what I should be doing and just did what everyone else should be doing um, as a way to just serve my mom and love her. And um, so I did a lot of cleaning and organizing and everything I could do to just keep my, to make my mom happy, to help with that. Um, and it was good for a while. And I, I found a love for just organization and neatness and cleanness. I just grew closer to Jesus and I fell in love with the little way, St. Therese's little way. Um, and it was just, it was really good, but eventually it got to be too much and I got more and more frustrated. It got to the point where I would clean up their messes and all this stuff, but I didn't do it happily like I did before. There was this camp I went to and a friend of mine had gotten a word um, for me from God. She told me God sees all the little things you do for him and all the ways you serve him and um, all the things you do behind closed doors like he sees you and he hears you and he's with you and it's building fruit in heaven and everything you do has an impact and that just like made me so happy because I had no idea. I mean, she did, would have had no idea. And I got a bonus one for you. When you're cold, go inside. <laughs> <laughs>